Hey everybody, it's Ms. Morgan here. I know it's been a little time since we've seen each other, but I surely do miss you. But I want us to continue to have conversations and also for us to have time together, even if we're apart. So today I bring you Sunday school class at home. So I encourage you to watch these videos with your family and enjoy your time at home and just enjoy being in one another's company. And today I have our Bible point poster that you're used to seeing every Sunday morning. And today's Bible point is Jesus has the power over death. So say that with me. Jesus has the power over death. Very good. Today our lesson, we're going to meet some of Jesus' friends and their brother died in this story. And we're going to discover that Jesus has the power over death. All right, so power over death would be a pretty cool superpower to have. For Jesus, it's a real power. But in movies, there are made-up superheroes with awesome powers. So once you take a moment and think with your family about a superpower that you would love to have. For instance, if I could have a superpower, I'd love to be able to fly. Now, if I were able to fly, I would be able to jump over all the traffic in town, and I'd be able to be up high in the sky, which I think would be a pretty cool uh, superpower to have. So spend some time just having fun with your uh, family and talk about the superpowers you'd like to have. Now, we know that superpowers are not real. But Jesus has the power over death, and his power is real. Today, we'll look at a Bible story that showed Jesus' power over death. The Bible is an amazing book, and God talks to us through the Bible, and he's ready to talk with us right now. So let's take a moment, let's close our eyes and bow our heads, and let's talk to God. Jesus, thank you for being the way and the life for us. Thank you that you have power over death. Thank you that you give us new life. Amen. All right, so I'm reading out of our Bible storybook, and I know it would be hard for you to be able to see the pictures, but I'm going to give you one glance of it, and today I'm reading out of John chapter 11, and today's story is called Lazarus Lives. So listen closely as I read. Jesus received a message from Mary and Martha, telling him that their brother Lazarus was very ill. By the time Jesus arrived at Jesus, or the sister's house, Lazarus was dead. Martha wept, saying, O oh Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But I know that God will give you whatever you ask. Then Jesus said gently, He will rise again. Everyone believes, everyone who believes in me will live again, even though he has died. But when Mary came up weeping, and he saw the other relatives crying, then Jesus wept too, and asked to be taken to the cave where Lazarus had been laid. Then he told the men to open it. Now Lazarus had been dead for four days, but Jesus prayed and gave thanks to God. Then Jesus said loud, loudly, Lazarus, come out. Everyone watched in silent wonder as a figure emerged from the dark cave, his hands and feet wrapped with strips of linen and a cloth around his face. It was Lazarus, and he was alive. So in today's story, Jesus learns his friend Lazarus is sick. He waits to go heal him. And then Lazarus dies. Lazarus' sisters, Mary and Martha, are upset, but Jesus waited on purpose so they could see Jesus has power over death. Jesus brings Lazarus back to life in today's story. Now, we're going to pause the video for just a moment, and just like you're used to having every Sunday morning, Mr. Jason is going to bring you the object lesson, so stay tuned. All right, and now it's time for our object lesson this week. So we've been talking today about how Jesus has power over death. And today we heard about the miracle of how Lazarus rose from the dead when Jesus called him out of the tomb. 
and we're discovering that Jesus has power over death. Let's experiment with paper clips as we think more about what rising from the dead might look like. Okay, so we've got some paper clips here tied to a marker, and as you see, the paper clips are always pointing down, and we can move the marker around a little bit, and they, they dance around and move some, but no matter what we do, the paper clips are always pointing down. And that's because of gravity, which we already know about. When we jump in the air, we come back down to the ground. And that's the same thing that's happening with our paper clips. They always point to the ground. So no matter which way we tilted the pencil, the paper clips always pointed to the ground. And again, that's because of gravity. So gravity is what is holding each of us to the ground. When we jump, we always come back down because of gravity. So even though gravity is incredibly strong, there are some things that can be more powerful than gravity. Can you imagine that? One thing that we're going to look at today is magnetism. So magnets can actually be more powerful than gravity. So if we can look in really closely here, we can see that I've got some magnets or some paper clips here that are tied to strings that are taped to the table. If we get these paper clips really close to this magnet, they actually stay there. And the paper clips are not touching the magnets, they're not touching the ruler. There's a little bit of a gap, maybe a, a half an inch or so between the paper clip the magnet. And so in this case, gravity is not the strongest force. It's actually the magnets because they're, they're causing the paper clips to want to go up instead of going down. So this is one of those cases where there's something stronger than gravity. So how can we tell that the magnets had power over the gravity in this experiment? Well, because with our pen, pencil here in the uh, paper clips, they always point downward because of gravity. In this case, they're actually staying up on their own because the magnets are overcoming the gravity. So how is that like or unlike Jesus being stronger than death? So the fact that the gravity or the magnets are overcoming the gravity in this case, it's very much like how Jesus is stronger and, and overcomes death in our life. So what does knowing that Jesus has power over death mean to you? Think about that for a second. At least to me, it means that each day that I wake up, I can know that no matter what happens to me that day, no matter how much longer I have to live, that one day I will succumb to death, but Jesus has power over death. And as long as I have faith in him throughout my life, I know what's going to happen to me after I die. And I don't have to be afraid of death. So in this object lesson, we learned that gravity always pulls objects down toward the ground. However, we also discovered that magnets had the power to overcome gravity. The same way that we learned that while everyone dies, Jesus has the power to overcome death. Just as the paper clips rose, Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead. Jesus had power over death. So now it's, time for, now it's time for our Talk About video, so make sure to have your parents play the video, Lazarus Come Out. We'll see you next time. Mary and Martha were worried, really worried. Their brother Lazarus was sick. And he wasn't just a cough a little, grumpy sick. He was so sick he might die. The two sisters knew who could help. Let's send for our friend Jesus, they said. Jesus can heal Lazarus. So they sent their fastest friend to run and tell Jesus about Lazarus. And they waited. But even though Jesus was their friend, and he was only a day's walk away, Jesus didn't come. Not the first day or the next day, or even the day after that. Mary and Martha paced back and forth. They kept peeking out their window looking for Jesus. But at last, Lazarus died. His friends put his body in a tomb. Finally, Mary and Martha saw Jesus and his disciples walking down the road toward their house. Martha ran out of their house to talk with Jesus. She was crying. I wish you would have come, she said. If you had been here, Lazarus wouldn't have died. Don't worry, Jesus said. Your brother will rise again. Mary was crying, and Jesus was crying too. Jesus said, take me to where Lazarus is buried. Together, they walked to the tomb. Jesus told the crowd that followed them to roll aside the large stone that covered the tomb. Some of the people didn't want to do it. That would be rude, they said. And besides, he's been in there a long time. But at last, they did what Jesus asked them to do. Then Jesus shouted, Lazarus, come out! 
Everyone waited. Nobody dared breathe. And then Lazarus walked out of his tomb. He was alive again. Everyone jumped for joy. They were so happy. Lazarus was alive. Jesus did what nobody else can do. He raised Lazarus from the dead. Jesus has the power over death. His friends helped Lazarus out of the strips of cloth that were wrapped around him. And then I'll bet they went back to Mary and Martha's house for the biggest party ever. La, 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 la.